Oh, sorry, I've got to go left me in the studio. OK, where do you want? This is Alex, the, as he loves to call himself, frontman. The frontman, leader. icon. The, the star. The superstar. Definitely. Hans Florian. Of course. Um, I'm the one who single-handedly managed to get our band to the landmark 400 likes on our Facebook page. Yay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the moment, I'm eyeing up um, a lot more slots around the country and whatnot, trying to expand our operations, so to speak. Oh, uh, yeah, branching out, um, exactly. I feel that we're sort of at the stage, not maybe not necessarily as bands, but definitely as people, where, you know, we have enough trust and faith in each other, which we can take it out on the road and hopefully see where hopefully, it goes. Yeah, get yeah. some new, new plans as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, for us, the most important thing is playing the music that we want to hear. Uh, yeah, of course. Obviously, we invite other people to join in if, if they enjoy it themselves. But first and foremost, it's all about making sure that we love what we do, that we enjoy what we do. and. Um, we can pride ourselves. Well, because I think if you don't have passion with bands, players, then yeah. there's nothing to give. Oh, no, precisely. Uh, for me, you know, it would be very easy for me to just turn around and write any old bullshit that anyone else is going to play. Do but, um, I don't write any old bullshit, actually. So, yeah, you know, if I really wanted to, I mean, I could probably write breakdown, breakdown, beat down, breakdown, and do that easily. Try but, well, I'll tell you what, try that. It doesn't really require anything. So um, I'm in I'm in the process of quitting smoking at the moment, so I've got a lot of uh, pent up anger and aggression. Really, it means that you can vent that out into your song. I, yeah, I, I think that with music, I try to use it more as a positive outlet. Yeah. Whereas um, the forums such as this one is where I'll try and vent some of my more negative things, okay. which is one of the reasons I don't have the rest of the band around to try and uh, keep it positive. <laughs> they were just. Yeah, exactly. They were. They were We're not always sunshine and rainbows. And, no, that's not at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rude. Oh, fair enough. Um, if I was to if, if I was to quickly plug anything, I'd say that we've got a show coming up on March 7th in Wolverhampton. We're really hoping to get some people down to. Venue is that? I think it's the VCC Club, I'm not too sure. Um, I'll have to go back and check the details. I just know dates, times, what I've got to take with me. And uh, yeah, hopefully that should be a good one. That's going to be our first show together as a band in that city. I've played Wolverhampton countless times in the past and it's always been a great crowd. With the bands Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. not going to name yeah, just the Anyone name. that knows me knows the bands that I've played from the past. And um, So yeah, I mean, I remember when um, we played Wolverhampton at the Little Civic and who was it now? I think it was Bullet for Valentine open for us. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Um, the first time. In between Bob Rock and Robert Trujillo, I was the bassist of the Metallica as well. <laughs> just, you know, just casual trip. But first time was Pantsworth, yeah. First time. Um, yeah, first time we played Pantsworth in Wolverhampton. Hopefully it'll um, go down well. I remember we played Scruffy Murphys, and that's actually how we got on the show. Uh, promoter approached us said, look, I enjoyed what you do, it'd be nice to try and get you out of Birmingham for a bit. And, uh, yeah. I think it comes through, though, with you, like you said, you put your passion into it. It comes through when you play. Yeah, definitely. So, I think with... Crowds to promoters. When we have written music in the past, and obviously we'll continue to, it's always been about having a theme. Uh, the first EP was uh, had a was very thematic in terms of being about a balance of good and evil. Um, deciding do I make the right or wrong choices in life. Um, the next EP, when we start promoting more heavily, will definitely include a lot of, I suppose it could be like taboo topics almost. Um, whether they shine through yeah. lyrically is obviously questionable. I don't want to alien yeah. alienate people, but at the same time, I also feel that, as I've said, we, we write music for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to get what you want across in the music. Well, precisely. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment where I'm hearing music a lot more and more where it's like, and that's it, I've got no reaction to it. 
I would either say, yeah, it's good or yeah, yeah. it's bad. But it for me, music's always been about having a much deeper connection having with it. something that stays with you. Precisely. About song, like. Yeah, whereas if I'm just listening to another countless band t telling me about how their girlfriend fucking dumped them, I, I don't really give a shit. And I'm, I, I used to. I mean, I, 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 used to give, I used to give loads of credit where credit was due, but I'm just done with them now. Because it's so old, so old. Basically, you don't, I don't think apart from Bulletproof Valentine, they can talk about ex girlfriends all they like. So, or ex, ex bass players, is it? Or ex drummers? Oh, yeah, Jay's gone now. Yeah. I don't think you want to go too indie controversial, though, with it, because sometimes I think that can Controversial's take away from good. Just... I think we're living in a time, like, for me, I grew up in the, in the era of Marilyn Madison and Eminem, when they were, they were very much willing to talk about things such as uh, corporations, the media lying to you, um, drug use in Hollywood, etc., etc. Pardon? Putting your girlfriend in the boot but yeah, putting your girlfriend in the boot of the car and having your daughter is just killer. But for me, you know, I'll, I'll listen to bands at the moment, and no one's really pushing the envelope. Almost, uh, I think the last person to really do that, in my opinion, so, um, sorry. was Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> so yeah, um, I remember when I first had. Um, Big Sean Control, and you hear um, Kendrick Lamar basically calling out all other rappers' names and whatnot, saying, you know, I'm on my own here trying to raise the bar, I want other people to come and do it with me. And um, I feel at the moment that with a lot of the bands that us as Spence Bermia are associated with, that I have other bands saying that to me. So I've got to start stepping my game up, just like they've been. Um, bands like Samsara, not so much, but This Memory. Um, Vexen, their souls for gold, all these sort of bands. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you think you're alive, you're better off you're dead. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again that, you know, with us, we've got a, a nice community going and I feel like we're pushing each other more and more. Uh, very friendly, competitive, and whatnot. As they bring in new elements themselves, you want to. Yeah, precisely. Um, I think that what we're looking at with these bands, especially, I can't really comment with Hans Bermia, I think it's more up to other people. But when I have a look at bands like Samsara, not so much, uh, This Memory, Vex, and Their Souls for Gold, and whatnot, uh, um, I definitely see like the next logical step. Yeah, for where yeah. your band should be going. Yeah, not just my band, but yeah, all bands where you'll have a look at in, the where, early 2000s. Where music should be going. Precisely, you have a look at the early 2000s, you'll have new metal, new metal evolved into emo, emo evolved into metalcore, and then since then we've had a real, just like, almost like a flat line where it's been, yeah. there's not been much there's evolution. There's been no change in the music scene of like, it's sort of <coughs> stuck. <coughs> In its ways, but I think that's more to do with as well the the, the less genres people listen to nowadays, in the sense that yeah. people, like I said, people tend to get stuck in their ways now. Again, I, you know, I'm a couple of years older than a lot of the bands that I play with at the moment, and one of the things that I always bring up is that when I was growing up, music for me, like I could turn on Kerrang and see a D12 or an Eminem video. Um, a lot of people nowadays wouldn't really understand that sort of concept. Um, so yeah, that's why I try and, like again, I'll talk about hip hop influences and whatnot like that because I think have a look at everything that's going on around you and see how you can push it forward. It takes a lot to, I mean as well, like you said, times change a band as well. Like if you look yeah. at a band such as say Linkin Park, for example, their stuff that they were doing in the 2000s, so their old stuff is very different. Yeah. Compared to like say their latest albums. It's interesting well. you bring that up because I remember um, seeing an interview. Yeah. Year, it was, must have been in 2007. Um, Nicky Six from Motley Crue was actually interviewing uh, Chester from Linkin Park, and Nicky said that to me, uh, Minutes to Midnight sounded like a Linkin Park album because it didn't sound like anything they'd done before, and um, that sort of thing tweaked in my head. So with the next band's Permia release, we're hoping to not necessarily completely reinvent ourselves and whatnot, but it's definitely going to be um, a, what I presume to be a logical step in our evolution. So you can be expecting new and good things? And definitely. And if, if you listen to them? our original EP, Terry Incognito, if you think, how could this be faster? How could this be heavier? How could this be more melodic? How could this have more structure and whatnot to it? Then that's what the next EP is going to be, simply put. Hopefully with high production values as well. So, so. that's be good, so. Is it
Yeah, definitely. Samsara. Samsara. <laughs> Not so much. Music UK. Facebook. Bandcamp. We're on Kickstarter at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Need a million pounds to record Yeah, yeah, we need a million pounds to record our single. <laughs> don't give it one. <laughs> yeah, don't. No one needs to hear us at all. Right? This phone just had a big issue in my world then. <laughs> she got a big issue, Sella. I don't want to become a big issue, Sella. Mike, what's the type of big issue? Well, I suppose I've got the guitar to be able to sell the big issue. I've guitar got the dog as well. We probably shouldn't joke about pop yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really Put it in a song. song. Yeah, I'll put it put in a song. song. <laughs> I, I feel sorry guitar. for people. As long as, it's, as long as it's a musical joke, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What do you mean by musical joke? I mean like, Well, yeah. It's like, what? music yeah. is clearly a joke. She's just fair. Pants for me. Pants for me. She just clearly called, a joke. On camera, she just called Pants for me a joke. Yeah, well that's, done. That's not very nice. Well done. No. That's, that's no. a job thing. I, I, I applaud you, honestly, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is that what you think? Yeah, I don't know. Is it honest? Yeah. Well, look, controversial. Yeah, I was going to say, that'll be Can't definitely be something maybe you should check out the next EP if you want to talk about topics such as those. But again, I'm not talking about it just yet because it's my Chinese democracy. And maybe you'll see it in 25 years. <laughs> so. Does Samsara wish to add anything in to this? I have yeah. no idea. I, don't I think know we should probably get that. Really Basically. I R E P! EP to power drugs. No, I think that we should probably plug Samsara because they're a lot more cheery than Pantopermia. Yeah. We like, we like to make people go wow. <laughs> Here at Samsara, we have the wow factor. The wow. Shit. You remember you had the X factor? You had the X factor. Well, W comes after yeah, X, X in the alphabet. Yeah. Well, W yeah. comes after X in the alphabet, so they've got the Y factor, that's the next step. Yeah, definitely. W comes after X. Yeah, it does. Definitely. I have to check if X. W does come. Right.